Brunswick Billiards is proud to present Slate Mining and Manufacturing, why Brunswick Slate rocks. Brunswick uses only the finest slate in the world for use in all of its pool tables. Brunswick assures its slate to be completely flat to within 10 one thousandths of an inch, three times more strict than required in order to pass the Billiard Congress of America standards. In this video, we will review how slate forms in the earth, how it is mined, manufactured, and tested to be sure Brunswick tables remain as some of the most consistent and accurate playing tables available today. Slate is a natural sediment rock that is created over millions of years. It comes in many colors and hardnesses, depending on the sediments that formed the slate millions of years ago. Slate is often buried under 20 to 30 meters of shale, clay, sandstone, and dirt, and is formed by millions of years of pressure and heat. When a slate mine is discovered, tests are conducted to determine the natural edges of the slate mine. When the miners reach homogeneous slate, as shown here in the lower layers, they then know the slate is of good quality and they can begin mining. It has taken three years to get the mine to this point. This mine is approximately one acre in size, however, slate mines can be up to 100 acres large. In Brazil, the open pit method of mining is used. This method utilizes a large saw set at the exact depth that the layer of slate can be extracted. A slate square, much like a carpenter square, is used to set the lines for cutting. After the lines are set, near net chunks are cut with a 12 inch diamond blade saw. Water is used to help keep the saw blade cool for better longevity of the blade. Every layer of the slate is natural, and each layer that is removed can be anywhere from 4 to 16 inches thick. In the open pit method, slate may be removed with a front end loader affixed with forks. Each piece is approximately 250 to 270 kilograms, or 500 to 600 pounds, at 5 inches thick. To cut one layer from this mine takes about two weeks. The slate naturally and easily pulls away in approximately 5 inch thick chunks. Each piece of slate is visually inspected before it is loaded onto the truck. Sometimes mineral deposits such as iron, quartz, or calcium will penetrate the slate, making it discolored and more difficult to work with. Brunswick will reject slate with mineral streaks or mineral deposits Natural cracks in the slate can also reduce the yield. Approximately 10% of the slate removed from a slate mine is unusable due to natural cracks. When the loader reaches a full truck load of Brunswick quality slate, the truck is sent to a nearby factory for further processing. After unloading, the slate is inspected again at the manufacturing facility to check for any visible defects. At this point, since each piece from the mine can be anywhere from 4 inches to 16 inches thick, the slate needs to be sliced or cleaved into thinner pieces. After the slate is separated, it is then sent to the first of many stages of surfacing processes. Each set of slate goes through at least six rounds of surfacing during the manufacturing process. The first stage of surfacing removes the rough portions of the top of the slate. After surfacing, each piece is then cut to the appropriate length. Each cut piece is cleaned using a squeegee and then moved using a vacuum lift and placed on a pallet for the next cutting process. At this point, the slate is beginning to resemble slate that is used for pool tables. In the next step, the slate is matched to become one set. Workers load three pieces on a conveyor to be trimmed and have the holes bored. This is the point where the worker marks an arc on the slate with a special marker to match the set. From this point forward, the slate will move through the process as a matched set. The slate is forced through another cutting process and this machine trims the width of the matched set. The matched set is then placed on a machine that cuts the pocket holes rail bolt holes, and slate attachment holes. 
Next, workers verify the holes have been cut to the right widths and that the pockets also have the correct dimensions. All dimensions must be within one millimeter or one thirty-second of an inch to pass the Brunswick quality standards. The slate now goes through an additional surfacing process to give the slate its flatness. The BCA specifications allow the slate to be within 31 thousandths of an inch, but Brunswick slate is checked to be within 10 one thousandths of an inch from edge to edge. The last surfacing machine is one of the most important steps in slate manufacturing. This machine has been custom fabricated to meet Brunswick's flatness requirements. First, the workers will surface the top and then the bottom. In this process, the speed that the slate is forced through the machine and the depth that it is surfaced is critically important. In addition, the surfacing discs must be in perfect balance in order for the slate to maintain flatness. A surfacing disc contains 96 diamond surfacing bits. Each bit costs $10. Next, each set of slate is moved to a temperature and humidity controlled curing room for 30 days where the slate is allowed to stabilize. Each group of slate is marked and monitored over the 30 days. Brunswick's 30-day curing process to help stabilize the slate is believed to be unique in the industry. This process helps prevent crowning and fluctuations in the natural material. After curing, the slate is moved to the framing area where pre-cut MDF is glued to the back of one-inch slate. Brunswick uses 45 pound grade MDF that allows staples to enter the wood without cracking or chipping. An industrial grade glue is used to assure a tight bond between the wood and the slate. After allowing one day for the glue to dry, the slate pockets are then trimmed. In addition, the slate counterbores are reamed with a power drill to within one millimeter of an inch. A small plastic gauge assures the slate screws do not exit the bottom of the base frame cleats. A hand grinder is then used to grind off any rough edges and to put the slight chamfer on the edge of the slate to make it easier to handle during installation. The pockets are then sanded. All of the sanding in the pockets helps prevent the cloth from ripping during installation or when a ball enters the pocket at a high velocity. In final inspection, each piece is checked again for flatness on a bench that is verified to be 100% flat. The workers use a level piece of steel and two very thin pieces of metal to see if there are any gaps from edge to edge and corner to corner. If the small metal pieces can make it past the level, the slate is rejected. The bottom of the slate is checked for crowns. Brunswick has zero tolerance for crowning. The slate is then cleaned with a cloth, air blown, and a final visual inspection is conducted. If the slate passes final inspection, it is given the Brunswick certified slate seal of approval, date coded, and as EJ attests, it's ready for shipment to Brunswick.